Hi and welcome. I'm Teresa Crawley from TransWest Truck Trailer RV and today I'm going to show you the Winnebago Vita 24F. Now, I've done a video on the Vitas before but this is a new product in 2020 and it's been evolving. I want to show you some of the differences between the earlier 2020 models and the newer 2020 models. Um, first thing that you'll notice is that this is a full body paint. On the earlier Vitas, we only had the option of partial paint with decals, but this is just a much cleaner, sleeker look. We still have the Mercedes Turbo 188 horsepower um, engine here, but the transmission has changed dramatically. So we've gone from a five-speed automatic to a seven-speed automatic transmission, and it made a huge difference in the fun of driving this. So you, if you've driven a Mercedes in the past, you notice there's a little bit of a diesel lag when you're going from a stop to starting to roll. Um, it just takes a minute when you're floored, but not so with the new transmission. This thing gets up and goes. It's awesome to drive. Um, you don't have to hesitate at a stop sign thinking, oh, am I going to get through in time? No worries. Um, the other thing that this new transmission did for us is it actually improved the gas mileage, which I didn't know was possible. Mercedes have always had 16 to 22 miles per gallon, but this just makes it even better. So super fun to drive. Love the Mercedes and it's a beautiful look. This unit is five in, 200, 467. If you'd like a build sheet or more information on this particular unit, we can send it to you. No problem. Um, few other things to point out here. On all of these Vitas, they're coming with a slide topper, which is a big deal. We've talked about before how that keeps debris from disrupting your seal. It also keeps water out, things like that. So it's just a, an extra barrier to keep the inside and your seal in good shape. Back here, we have the basics, your water, your water um, drains, water fills, black flush cleaning system. But I wanted to show you that there's an exterior port if you wanted to add additional solar. So this unit comes with two 100 watt solar panels, so 200 total. But if it's shady where you're parked, you can take a solar panel and point it wherever you want it to go. Great feature. Back here we have a ladder so you can check those solar panels, make sure there's no branches or debris on them. We also have a 5,000 pound towing hitch. Over here, this floor plan has the most outdoor storage of any that I've seen. So this is your storage bay that's under the corner bed that we'll see in a minute but you can see that they built it with a, a plastic bottom and a drain. So you can rinse this out if it gets yucky. Another thing back here, they have a really easy winterization system, easy access, easy to use. And then over here we have stabilizing jacks. So they're electric, you just push the button and they'll go down. And what that does is keep your coach from rocking if it's windy when you're parked or if you're walking around and it's kind of wobbling around. They're not levelers per se, but they do keep you from moving around a lot. So we have a six gallon water heater in this unit. And this is plug-ins if you wanted to put a TV or stereo outside. We also have a, a hookup for cable if you're at a park or something or have a little dish you want to sit out here. Awning, as always, is absolutely beautiful with LED lights under it. So going inside the coach, you'll see that right at the door, you have your disconnects, lights. You also have your solar controller, inverter, slide room controller, and your generator panel here. 
you can also test all of your tanks. So how much is in my gray tank? Nothing. And that's how you want it when you buy a brand new coach. And a little hook for your keys. The other thing that I noticed very first when I walked in this is this doesn't have the usual booth. So normally there's a booth dinette here and it converts into a sleeping area. This is one of those coaches that um, there's four seat belts and there's room for four to sleep, not six. So these are really great. Um, if you don't need an extra bed for six people, these are really nice because they're facing your TV right here. You've got a 32 inch LED TV right there. Sounds like a nice relaxing time to me. Up here on the bunk, I wanted to show you something that I thought was really clever. I have the bunk set up today. I'm gonna climb up here. So if your kids have um, devices they like to play with, we've got plugins and USB port over there. They have their own fan, their own little reading light, their own window. But over here, they also have a secret place, which I thought was super clever. So if you could see that, that's a place to hide all of their little books and toys and things like that. I thought that was super great that Winnebago thought of that. They also have their own privacy curtain that pulls across here. So in the kitchen, this is that TV I was talking about, but People always want to, want to know if this is wasted space, and it's not. They left plenty of room open for you. Um, there's a roof access port. If you wanted to put a satellite dish up there, it can just go through there without having to ruin your roof integrity. We've got a double sink here and a nice little sprayer so you can get your dishes washed. A lit spice rack. Lots of great little drawers and spaces to put things. Um, this does have a propane three burner cooktop, which is harder to find these days. A lot of times these are going to induction. So a lot of people prefer the propane. So you've got that here as long as it can, or as well as a convection microwave down here. Lots more storage. We've got pantry space here and here. And then we have this great fridge and freezer here. Lots of space. I'll show you that real quick. We've got more storage here and here, but what I really wanted to show you was this one because this is where your deeper pots and pans are gonna be able to go. And that's always a conundrum. Where am I gonna put my pots? Pots and pans, they just don't fit in normal size shelves in these units. So they, Winnebago thought of that. Out here, this is your bathroom vanity area. We've got a medicine cabinet, a place to hang a towel. And then in the bathroom, we, it has its own fan. And they make these showers with this great sunroof. So if you're extra tall, you can definitely fit in there. Another cool thing that Winnebago does on these little units is this is a retractable um, shower door or screen and it cleans itself so you don't have to squeegee or anything when you're camping. It also helps prevent mildew and mold in here so really nice. Those really thin cheap uh, shower curtains just don't do the job as well then these, this is a great little feature. Also a little bit more storage which is Everything we want in a motorhome. Places to put our stuff. So this is the corner bed I was talking about earlier. It'll fit two people. And you've got reading lights and a little shelf to put your alarm clock or whatever you need. Lots of storage up above. This is your 13,500 watt um, AC unit that is ducted. So if you see these little vents that are around the ceiling that's where the air conditioning is going to be coming out. I think we're ready to go into the cab. And for anyone that's seen any of our videos on the Vitas that when they first came out, this has changed dramatically, the front cab. Last year we had, um, we had an, a cigarette holder in here 
and very small places to put beverages. This year, they're not messing around. We have one, two, three, four cup holders up here. Oh. Then we have a nice little storage place here. This is where your USB charger is hidden. So you've got a USB charger here and a little mat to keep your phone. So that's a nice little area. You could also just use it as storage if you wanted. Um, everything is much sleeker looking this year and a lot more usable. Like I said, cup holders, you shouldn't be lacking. You have two more here and one in either door. Um, but some of the things I wanted to highlight here, we have adaptive crews. What that does is that's gonna um, pull you back if you're getting too close to somebody in cruise control, it'll break for you. Um, but the one thing I really wanted to point out is this has a Mercedes, if you have an Alexa at home, very similar, it's called Hey Mercedes. Well, How that might you? not be the official name, but Hey Mercedes. What can I do for you? Turn on radio station KBCO. So you can talk to her. She's really smart. I think I have it muted right now. That's, there it is. So yeah, I had it on mute, but she went to the radio station immediately. You can also say to her, please navigate to home, but you do have to say her name first. And every time I say her name, she's going to wake up for me and try to help me. Um, you've got all kinds of stuff on this um, screen. You can connect your phone. You've got total connectivity here. Um, your navigation here, and you can change the view of that. Back to home, we can, um, let's see here, change the settings on this, um, the, excuse me, lane assist and things like that, if you find them annoying, the beeping and things like that. So that's just some of what you can do. So, I think I just want to tell you how fun these are to drive. People get nervous about driving a 25 foot, five inch long motorhome, and it is like driving an SUV. You do need to be conscientious, obviously, of your height and your length, but driving them is not hard. It's actually really fun and smooth. This is a really responsive unit, and I've had customers um, note time and time again, that turning radius was amazing, and it turned so well. It doesn't tip and rock a lot. Um, it's just really great to drive and safe. So if you need any more information on this Mercedes Vita, how can I help you? Or any other of our Winnebago products, please let me know. My name is Teresa Crawley. You can call me at 303-684-3427. What can I do for you? <laughs> Mercedes, stop. There we go. All right. Thanks for coming.